Hello Marlins fans and welcome to this edition of Big Fish Small Pod for Thursday, April 25th, 2024. And if you are new to the Small Pod, here we like to give you all the information about the Marlins for that particular day all season long in 10 minutes or less. As always, Marlins fans, Big Fish Small Pod is presented by MPT College Consulting. As always, you could check them out at mptcollegeconsulting.com for all your college consulting needs. And Marlins fans, this episode of Big Fish Small Pod, we will be detailing the start for Noble Meyer for this season. I'm going to be doing a little series covering some of the top prospects for the Mormons and how they've been doing so far to start the year. And, of course, you have to start with the number one guy and the majority of the outlets, if not all of them, Noble Meyer. First round pick last season, 2023, 10th overall pick. Um, Noble Meyer has had a very rocky start up to his minor league professional season so far in 2024. Um, you can just see right there his stat line. And only nine innings, but again, three starts and eight ERA for Noble Meyer, which is something you really don't want to see from your number one overall guy um, in the farm system. And to go about how Noble Meyer has been doing, we could start off with the first game, his first game of the season, April 6th. Three and two-third innings, three hits, two earned runs, three walks, five strikeouts. A decent start for Noble Meyer that game. He had 79 pitches. He threw that. Um, he really ch- he only threw three types of pitches that game. Uh, 57 of them were sinker, eight changeup, 14 slatter. So he's really focusing on that sinker, developing it, making sure it could be a repertoire f- that he can use further in his career, especially um, with the Marlins. And you, you really look at so his speed and where he topped out and where maybe could have used a little bit of work. Um, the majority of his pitches were above 90 miles per hour, um, including a sinker, which got to a max of 94, 95.1 miles an hour um, for Noble Meyer. And most of his um, sinkers are in that range. You want to go to his, uh, his change-ups and to his slider. Again, all fell below 85 miles an hour, but relatively a good start for Noble Meyer that game. Um, his sinker averaged about 92, 93, relatively pretty good there for Noble Meyer. And you want to look at his slider, um, 82. But just one thing for Noble Meyer that's just been very difficult for him um, to really start this season is his control. Um, you look at that first game, 39 pitches were outside of the strike zone to just 36 um, that were swung at. Um, by uh, batters on his pitches, but to have 39 pitches outside of the zone and 40 were in the strike zone, that is not something you want to have from your top prospect. You would like to see more in the strike zone. I can understand, yes, he's trying to throw stuff away, but 39 out of out of 79 pitches is not what you want from your top guy in there. His first game. Again, you can always go, oh, Jitter's first game, but overall, um, not a really great performance. His first game there. Um, from Noble Meyer to start the season. And to really go off it, let's go ahead and look at his next game for Noble Meyer. Um, a couple of days after April 13th, his worst start in his professional career, um, easily for him. He did not get through a full inning, two thirds of an inning, two hits, three earned runs. And what was really hurting him is his walking, is the the amount of walks he had four walks and you want to look at the entirety so far this season nine walks to only eight strikeouts his control is getting the better of him and he's a really great player even better person but just the control that he's had 10 hits given up eight earned runs and when you have that amount of walks it is something that can really hinder a player and their longevity in a system, I'm not saying it's going to hinder him or again, he's only 19 years old. He's not even 20 yet. Um, still in, in, in the bottom, in the, in the A's in terms of the minor league system, 
the A level. But it's something that Noble Meyer will just have to to get through again if you're going to help out with pitching or either being the Marlins system or they have a track record of getting pitchers ready and, and really working with them and improving them to be the best that they can. Again, Noble Meyer still in his teens, so nothing really to worry about there. But again, that was a very bad start from Noble Meyer um, to the point it was only 37 pitches he threw and two thirds of an inning, which is not what you want to see. Again, three types of pitches. He really high heavily on that sinker. Thirty pitches on that sinker out of thirty-seven. Five changeups, two sliders. Not what you want to see there. Um, his sinker did have more average, had a better average than it did last game, going from ninety-two point nine to ninety-three and a half, which is something very good to see there. But again, with Noble, it's just pitches in the strike zone. That start twelve pitches in the strike zone compared to 25 outside of the strike zone. That just tells you how many walks he's had and how many walks he had this game. Just not what you want to see um, from Noble Meyer, something that he has to get through. He has to change that up. He cannot throw these pitches outside of the strike zone and, and, and believe maybe he could succeed as a pitcher. You have to throw it inside the strike zone. You have to make sure to get outs. He did not get a lot or if any in that start, but Noble Meyer, I believe, will be a better pitcher, but this is just something that has to change in terms of him walking guys and throwing pitches in the strike zone. Because to not even get through one inning, um, I believe, um, can hurt his confidence and maybe his headspace on where he wants to be as a pitcher. But again, still 19, but that was a very rocky start for the young Noble Meyer. Um, and let's go to his most recent start, April 20th. Um, again, Somewhat rocky there. He's having a hard time uh, with the earned runs and with some of the walks. Again, this is you could say this one's more his better one of his better starts of the season, or at least in his career, his longest start as well. Four and two thirds of an inning, five hits, three earned runs, two walks. Again, the lowest of the season, which is good. Three, four, two. Uh, if you can limit just two walks, a game will be perfect, or at least two walks every four and two third innings and three strikeouts. Again, he has to get some more guys striking out, but again, it's just really up to what he's pitching at the moment and making sure that he can succeed. Again, his most pitches thrown this season, 84 pitches for Noble Meyer. Again, really relying heavily on that sinker, 48 pitches where he used the sinker, 30 slider, only through the changeup once and through the curveball five times. So really getting that curveball in there and testing that out to see how it can work and just understand um, the best way to use that pitch for him to succeed. Again, 48 pitches on the sinker, 30 slider, one changeup, five on that curveball. But with Noble Meyer, his sinker got to up to 94.1 in terms of average. But overall for Noble Meyer, it has not been the best of starts to his season very young, but this is someone that the Marlins hope can improve on and are really seeing something in him again, using a high round, a high uh, pick last season to draft him. But with Noble Meyer, it really just depends on his control. That can really hinder um, the development of a pitch. We've seen it. We've seen it with Eddie Cabrera. It, if Eddie Cabrera could not walk guys or just half his amount of walks in the start. He can easily be one of the best pitchers in the National League. And that's exactly what needs to happen with Noble Meyer. Again, very young in age. Still just a baby in terms of his professional career. But with Noble Meyer, it just has to improve his ability to control. Again, work up that changeup. Work up that slider. We all know we can really trust his sinker, but just making sure that he's throwing it in the zone and not walking as many guys. Again, you can always throw outside the strike zone if that's what you believe you can get guys out. But again, limiting it to the point where you're not throwing it and you're walking guys. You're throwing it to get guys to strike out. You're not getting it to have them go on base. But Noble Meyer, subject of the first episode of my prospect series, for 2024. As always, I am Daniel Rodriguez, and this is Big Fish Small Pod presented by MPT College Consulting. Always check them out at mptcollegeconsulting.com for your college consulting needs. And as always, go fish. <laughs>